ever since we started with the user session we are hearing a term millions and billions very often millions and billions i don't know how many zeros but it, it has a great feeling to it <laughs> okay so i i speak here uh, and i'm very glad to uh, represent frappe technologies as a service provider here a bit surprising <laughs> okay and uh, what we what we are going to discuss here is uh, the ecosystem how can we uh, you know uh, have a, uh, a more powerful ecosystem than what we have right now and how we can get it right uh, collaboratively together right so before we talk about uh, the ecosystem let's talk a little about little bit about this service provider small service provider called frappe technologies so we have been into business and we have survived for 10 years in july i think we completed a decade into business uh and um, yeah to the team and uh, we have been the biggest contributor to the erp next project uh, i think uh, in second quarter we were 15 uh, but in last quarter we have do almost doubled we are 29 uh, almost and uh, we have uh, 6 700 plus customers on our cloud uh, and they are spread across uh, more than 150 countries worldwide right and uh, slowly steadily organically we are getting into services uh, we started with hosting but uh, now uh, we have services like uh, implementation and deployment and training to our stake as well which we are slowly and as i said uh, organically getting into right so uh, i want to uh, set the context uh, with a small story of a guy called muktar this is not his pick this is a pick of uh, the great guy uh, scientist whom we recently lost uh but uh, the connection between this and uh, muktar is basically muktar is uh, a paralyzed guy uh, the only uh, body organ which works for him is his palm right his completely his body is pa almost paralyzed and uh, uh, the great thing about this guy is he led an implementation of erp next at rysense group uh, uh, that's a company a group company based in uh, saudi arabia and uh, after successful implementation now he's teaming up with his friends and they're going to become erp next service providers these guys leading them right so it's really really inspiring and uh, i'm i'm going to talk about him uh, you know for long time i think you know so that's the thing i mean uh, with erp next this is this is uh, the first impression people have uh, when they look at erp next right? they're so excited this product and it's for free you know really and uh, even even the inquiries a uh, lot of the time which we receive it's like yeah i, I need an erp solution i'm not into erp business yes but but this i've seen this and i want to get into erp business now you know <laughs> so uh, that's the that, that's the kind of excitement they have you know but we as a we as a people into erp business we really understand what it takes to create a success story right uh, it's not only about a product there is an implementation so what we have achieved with the product the five stars and literally five stars on the websites like software advice and gartner front runner and what you have you know we have really really made our mark and we should be proud as a community for that but we got a long mile to go in terms of implementation right and uh, that one bad implementation which we leave uh, you know actually uh, uh, hurts a lot and we as a community need to ensure that we uh, you know create an ecosystem uh, where we can you know ensure a more successful implementations uh and uh, the, the uh, we have some simple or very uh, basic recommendation how we can get an implementation right is to go vanilla that's our golden rule you know so hosting and support was our revenue stream till now but we have a new revenue stream called rescue so we often uh, find an uh, erp next account of customers wherein uh, you know they do complex customization which is not upgradable they come to us you know and these uh, kind of customization which is generally could have been done with a custom field or a custom script or a custom doc type you know uh, so oh, uh, th this is this is really a golden rule and i'm going to share a story how many vanilla implementations we have done successfully the large scale thing uh, uh, and only if you basically have this perspective that yeah we are going to go vanilla first you will also discover the ways how how much uh, scenarios you can map out of the box in the product the other thing is develop your expertise so very often we have uh, uh, experience that uh, there are service provider whose expertise is say front end but they are trying to become full stack and hire a developer and they basically then there is an iteration and you get into vicious cycle of hiring and iteration you know and same on the uh, end of with some technical service provider as well so what we would like to suggest here is basically don't try to convert your weaknesses into strength rather capitalize on your strength 
and collaborate on uh, with other service provider who can basically make up to your weaknesses. So this is this very simple thing, and we have done that. And I would like to share some of the stories. So this is this is basically uh, uh, you, you must be familiar with these three circles, maybe from last year's conference, but a little change of context, right? So this is this is the uh, collaboration system which we are proposing here, and this is not just for the successful implementation. With this, we can uh, we can actually you know achieve the successful ecosystem at large. Uh, some of the stories which I would like to uh, quickly share. Uh, version 11 itself was a case study of uh, how we uh, collaborated with the community. We all uh, came together as a community and delivered ERPNX and all this you know uh, breadth of feature which we had together as a community. And then government and open source makes so much sense. And we as a community should pitch and try to get uh, ERP next and open source uh, uh, into government organization. It's our money, of course, right, which is being spending spent in buying licenses, right? So we should we should worry about that. And we have done vanilla implementation of ERP next, having 200 users, uh, and it still works, right? No no customization. And same and same uh, thing we are also trying to replicate in uh, some of the private organizations. Some are completed, some are still in process. Again, uh, companies having 200 plus users and employees, and we are doing a vanilla implementation there. And we are also collaborating with the uh, partners uh, we have, the service, good service providers. So that's that's the mantra I would like to leave you with. Thanks very much.